the destruction in that area and in, in different places in our state, it's horrendous. And it was maybe two days in the news cycle. But the fact of the matter is that that was the strongest hurricane to hit Louisiana since like the 1850s. There are buildings that are leveled. I think the percentage right now, about 97% of the schools are just completely unusable. 97. 97. Um, every single home has some sort of damage, whether it's complete mm -hmm. decimation or, you know, a, a roof or a tree through it. And I'm seeing a lot of the effects of that where I am because of these displaced children. And Lori really hit the nail on the head, but there's still thousands and thousands of kids who are relying on those teachers in that area to provide education. And I think about the students that are now displaced in my area over, you know, two hours away and the trauma on top of everything else and what teachers are doing here. So very much a community of teachers helping each other. Um, but I'm so in awe and inspired by you two ladies, and I'm so thankful that I have the chance to get to know you. And I just want to tell everybody on the call, like these two women are so highly respected in their communities, from schools and families and their um, higher ed, like everywhere. They're award winning. They both have full time teaching jobs and they're engaged in the work of trying to rebuild our profession through educators rising. And whenever I reached out to Andy to ask her how she was doing, she talked about the loss and the no power, but her biggest concern was the fact she couldn't meet her students. And that mm -hmm. just speaks to the heart of a teacher. It didn't matter that there was no power and there's trees through roofs. These women couldn't see their students and they found that to be the most heartbreaking part of all of this. And now it's my good fortune on behalf of the College Football Playoff Foundation and the Sugar Bowl Committee in addition to the $200 that uh, was already announced, we're going to do an additional $200 for each of you for a total of $400. And, and wait yet, we are even bigger surprise is that uh, together we are going to jointly fund all the uh, donors choose projects in Calcasieu Parish for a total of almost $10,000. <laughs> So hopefully that'll, that'll do some good and, and you all will feel uh, supported and loved uh, in the important mission that, that you all have. Thanks for giving thank us the enough. opportunity. <laughs> My son plays football. I love football. And oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm about Thank to start you. playing football. <laughs> Good for Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh, you. Lori and Andy, I love you guys so much and I wasn't expecting that and I wish I could just hold you both right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't, well, I, I mean. I, I,